Welcome to More Cream, More Croc 2023. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we are gathered here today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We also acknowledge that we are standing on the shoulders of giants in terms of performance here on this land, which is why we would like to acknowledge, acknowledge elders past, present and emerging. We would also love to thank the entirety of Deacon Theatre staff for working really hard on this for us. The costumes and props department in particular for fulfilling our many weird requests. The creative writing team who turned what was essentially a bunch of puns into stories. And the media team who once again took the time out of their busy schedules to help us with this project. We'd also like to acknowledge one of our biggest fans. He's actually my youngest brother. And he wrote this sketch for me which didn't quite make the final cut so... We thought we'd show it to you now. This sketch was written by a 13 year old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Donald Trump got arrested? He's <laughs> going viral. Have you seen the continent now? Global warming is crazy. It's the hottest summer ever. What? Where are werewolves? <laughs> One for the master and one for the maid And one for the little boy who lived down the lane He was born in a happy little home <laughs> <laughs> Lots of grass to eat <laughs> room he can roam <laughs> He told himself this was a place for me <laughs> He always had his friend for company Mah. So why did the story shift to a different tone? Mah. He was proud of his newly growing locks Bystanders had interest and stared at him a lot So when they came over with their chest One click open and you'll hear the rest why did they have to use them for a pair of socks? Oh. But she didn't have to cut his wool. <laughs> yeah, happy and so very fluffy, but she always had to get, get your tools. Treat them like an object, and that is so. But she didn't have to you act so hard. He trusted you with his life and saw you as no stranger, but she made him feel he wasn't home. Why did she have no privilege to say no? You might want to take a seat. <laughs> There's no easy way to say this. Spit it out. <laughs> Your sister's dead. <laughs> what do you mean, dead? As in the irreversible cessation of life. <laughs> It's a biological process that occurs in... Sorry, I ran out of space. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> organisms. When did this happen? Today, when I got my Chinese. I thought you were getting, going to an Indian place. 
Yeah, and they gave me chai knees. Oh. <laughs> how did this happen? Well, you know how your sister's deathly allergic to seafood? Of course, it was quite a crabby condition. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were at the Indian place, and I guess the chef's got the order wrong, because she ordered the butter chicken, but instead, she was shot in the face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, your sister. <laughs> did you see who did this? I don't know. I was facing the wrong direction. One direction? No, they broke up. <laughs> so, just Harry Styles? I'm not sure. He was wearing a disguise. Which guy? This guy. This guy. That guy. Another guy? Yep. This guy and that guy. Harry Styles and Niall Horan. No, he ran. Ed Sheeran? We've really got to stop with these singers. We do have to stop the singers who killed my sister. Oh, no, they just made the curry. <laughs> oh, then who was the killer? I'm not sure. He was wearing a disguise. <laughs> well, did you see what he drove? He had a Toyota, but he dropped it at the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> So, this is our only clue? Oh no, I've got two. Uh, <laughs> I just can't believe it. I know, I can't believe that One Direction broke up. <laughs> that was years ago. What do you know about grieving? My sister is dead! <laughs> I mean, who's gonna look after her kid? <laughs> It's an absolute tragedy. It's a play depicting the downfall of the main character? In a sense. Which sense? Taste. <laughs> was the food that bad? No, it was a butter chicken. Aren't you gonna pull out a chicken made of butter? A woman died, Alan! <laughs> and you're using this as an excuse to make visual puns? The nerve! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here, have some flowers. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, honey. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, well, I had to do something for you after I shot your sister. What? <laughs> you shot my sister? How could you? Like this. we wrote about a vampire having some fun in the summer sun. This is Vampire in the Sun. Take away Dracula. I'm a vampire and I'm having fun, I'm having fun. Ah! Having fun, I'm having fun, I'm having fun, I'm having fun, I'm ah! oh, having fun, I'm having fun, I'm having fun, I'm having fun, I'm My name is Bethany J. Boss, and I am the richest woman in the world. I went to space on a rocket ship shaped like a cock because I can. I shit and pay people to wipe for me. Everything in my life is perfect. I just hope Robin Hood doesn't come along. <laughs> Sleep. Give me that shit. 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 Thank you. Little Timmy. Little Timmy, where are you? I'm little Timmy and I've got a bum leg and a paw. So sorry to hear that. But don't worry, you don't have to be poor anymore. Thank Here you are. Thank you, Robin Hood. I don't want any thanks. I just wish that the wealthy could think about the poor for a time. <laughs> Fine! That's a rubble! Wow! I can't believe I'm rich now I can call my mum! Ring, 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 ring! Hello, mum! We can do a Betsy of a feline herpes. What did you just say? My cat has feline herpes. No, before that! Oh, ring, ring, I've called my mum. Oh, I'm rich. Yeah, that's 
all you can think about, isn't it? Oh. You son of a bitch.
States of Micronesia. Actually, let me just check that I've got everything. Oh, I am the genie of your suitcase. I stole your clothes. They fit me quite well. I shall grant you three wishes, but there are two rules. One, I cannot regrant you a wish. Two, it must be to do with peanut butter. <laughs> All right. Can I get some smooth peanut butter? No. <laughs> Why not? I don't like that one. <laughs> All right. Which ones do you like? Crunchy. Sure. Can I have some crunchy peanut butter? Great, thank you. Wait, it's already eaten. I was hungry. <laughs> uh, all right, well, look, can I get another one then? I can't regret your wish. <laughs> okay, what the hell? Surely there's someone you can talk to about this. Let me see. I shall call my manager. <laughs> you. The Huawei Blackberry. <laughs> what can I do for you? I need a wish. Oh, sorry. You know the rules. I can only regrant five of your three wishes, and they must be in relation to the PlayStation copy of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Just get Wait, back in the suitcase. But I have access to the Qantas Lounge. I have to <laughs> Micronesia! I'm gonna miss my Will you not fucking 
you cheat on me, James? Jars, and so I left early. Okay, so you wouldn't happen to know anything about Christopher Robin, would you? Oh no, I didn't see Christopher. Oh, that's a lie. We have eyewitnesses saying that you, Eeyore, and Christopher left at the exact same time. Look, you can tell us. It's okay. Oh bother. <laughs> I really don't know anything. Okay, so you wouldn't happen to know the whereabouts of Eeyore, would you? No, no. He's. Would, would you recognize? This at all? Ooh, that's Eeyore's tale. He's always losing it. Uh, losing it! So, would it surprise you to know that we found in this tale next to a mutilated body and multiple pots of honey? Oh, bother. <laughs> bother indeed! So, you can see this is a little bit, you know, a bit weird, especially because of your prior offences, you know. Honey dealing, driving under the influence of honey, and also public honey intoxication? The list just goes on and on, Matt. Come on. Oh, I was a much younger bear then. <laughs> you reckon you can get away with this? You reckon you're smarter than us? Oh, no, I'm not smarter than the average bear. That's Yogi. <laughs> Look, I mean, you're smarter than the average bear. Oh, look at him, that's a monster right there. Who oh, said you could talk to my client? Oh, fuck, it's Piglet. <laughs> right, two of you, get the out of here. You know we're gonna get him, right? We've got so much evidence that we can bury him under it. Yeah, yeah, you'll never pin this on my character. <laughs> we'll be back for you. Come on. So was that good? Was that bad for you? Listen here, Winnie the. You're lucky Tigger's paying me enough to keep them off your back. But I need to defend you properly, and you need to tell me the truth. Where the <laughs> is Christopher Robin? They'll never find him. No! What the <laughs> did you do? <laughs> you are claiming that that baby up there is not yours. 
course. No, it's not. Well, you submitted yourself to a DNA test, so we're about to find out. When it comes to the two-year-old baby, Michael, you are the father! Oh, shit! I'm just Bill. Duck Bill. Quack. <laughs> Water Bill. Hi, right, sorry, I'm just really thirsty. <laughs> uh, gas Bill. <laughs> bill Board. Is there anything else to do? I'm pretty bored. <laughs> <laughs> dollar Dollar Bill. Yeah, I'm Dollar Dollar Bill, I got money. <laughs>
Because it's dead, and it's about to be this person's dinner. Hi, I'm Steve Steven Stevenson, and today we're going to be looking at some shamelessly filthy carnivals living out their shamelessly filthy carnival lives. Excuse me, can you tell me what exactly led you to be such a selfish prick? <laughs> I'm not a carnival. So not only are you a shameless carnival and a selfish prick, but you're also a liar liar, pants on fire. I'm not a liar. Oh really? Dave, bring him out. Say hello to the victims of your last few meals. Oh, what is this? Is this like a, like a new prank patrol or something? No, I'm Steve Steven Stevenson, and today we're going to be counting down your top ten biggest regrets in life. Number ten, being adopted. I have parents! Not anymore, you don't! Because these sheep are actually your parents. How does that even work? Because I'm Steve Steven Stevenson! <laughs> And today, we're going undercover as serial murderers to find out why killing is so much fun. <laughs> I now have to run before I'm sent to prison for life. No, 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 this is someone's mistake. I'm not a carnival. It wasn't me. Right, no, 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 it wasn't me. You can tell that. What? Why it wasn't me? It wasn't me. I'm not a carnival. I'm not a carnival. Next time, or I'll be looking at why every policeman is actually a humanoid lizard. See you next time. <laughs> to the 2023 More Cream, More Clock fashion show. We have a real treat for you here today. In 2021, the Australian National University hosted a comedy sketch that boasted the Puff Kini, a dikini made out of puffer jackets, perfect for the Australian winter. But we thought our joke was much better. <laughs> so we'd like to present to you the dikini, a range of bikinis made out of the classic Deacon hoodies. Yeah. Our first model is Liv. She's looking fantastic in the Dean of Arts, Timothy. And with a gorgeous sarong. How classic, wonderful, perfect for those cold winter days, I must say. <laughs> Our second model today is Tim Tam Savory. TT. <laughs> I know. <laughs> TT was wearing a staple 
Olympics, the Vice Chancellor Martin Bikini. Those are, of course, hoodie strings, and uh, that was the most I've ever seen of him. Our third walk on the one ray today is Luke Holland. Silentness. But look here with a big ass of sexy. Here. It's here today. The most is classic. Cox Top. This look is named after Johnson, of course. Senior Deputy Vice Chancellor Johnson. <laughs> Finally, we have Jack Martin. Hearing oh. <laughs> at first appears to be a standard DKD. But when he turns around, there's a bit of a cheeky surprise. <laughs> For our finale, I'd like to call back to the stage our four models. <laughs> We'd like to acknowledge the hard work of our designers, Liv Blair and Lauren. And we are pleased to announce, for a limited time only, we are selling these wonderful pieces. <laughs> They are literally the only ones we have. So <laughs> come quickly, will you? <laughs> Thank you for coming and <laughs> I love the way they leave. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'd just like to, before we start, dispel some rumours of my ex-wife and our divorce. <laughs> Completely untrue. We left on mutual terms. Now, let's get to painting. And our first piece is a half-finished one that I did. We're just going to start with some happy little trees. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know why happy little trees are so happy? It's because they stick together. Yeah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Next, we're going to draw some squirrels. Now, I go into the wilderness a lot. And the thing I love about squirrels is, well, they'll listen to anything you say. <laughs> and we're just going to add a couple more because everyone deserves a little friend. <laughs> now, next thing is that we're going to add a little BMW. I know, a little off kilter, but. <laughs> so, I like to name my brushes sometimes, and well, I'm going to name this one. Steve Raymond. He's a lovely little character with a rich businessman who owns a BMW. <laughs> and we're just going to beat the devil out of this one. <laughs> and so... Now, we're just going to get out our knife. Palette. We're going to mix some vermilion blue and some crimson red, and we're going to make some gasoline. <laughs> and we're going to burn down the happy little tree. <laughs> now, it's all about commitment. Commit to the canvas. Commitment. Commitment. Commit. You know why we're burning down these trees? It's because commitment means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going a little bit strange today. I'm going to add some text, just a little bit of fun. <laughs> now, I think what can finish this piece would be a nice, calm, lovely little river of brake line fluid. <laughs> 
and I remember these are uh, accidents. These are happy little mistakes. <laughs> and it looks like we're nearly done. Now, this is your world. This is your canvas. In my world, it is a, a society that loves people and doesn't care about 40-year-old men still playing with paints. <laughs> That's all the time we have. I'd like to thank you, keep on painting, and may God bless you all except for two of you. Thank you. <laughs> We have, from retirement, from their 65 years, please give a warm welcome. From the retirement home, Marley and Maplin.
about you? He's good. How about you, pass? <laughs> Who even is this guy? He's my friend, obviously. I'm being paid. Let's go. <laughs> George, please just sign the divorce paper so I can go. I was never happy with me, you. You would never leave me alone for more than five minutes. And now you've gone and hired a, a hype man? That's messed up, George. Scared to such a lovely woman too. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> uh, so George, are you gonna pay me for today or? What? She's taking my house. She's taking my children. She's got most of my money. She's, she's got money? My... Yeah, she's got most of it, yeah. Hey yo, Tiffany, that's messed up what he did. How about I take you out to lunch sometimes? Yeah, alright. Yeah, 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 queen. Yeah, yeah, queen slay. Hype man, this last year and a half has been amazing. It's been absolutely pum 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 perfect. <laughs> so I was just thinking and wondering and when are you gonna ask me to move in with you? You know, landlords are a bit of a pr pr prick sometimes, you know. <laughs> so, what would you like to order? Yeah! Hi, oh. oh, hi! Hi, man, are you okay? Can you hear the a a angelic noise? Oh! I didn't see you there. George, you have to stop doing this. This is getting really embarrassing. Okay, but I really need to see the kids, okay? No. <laughs> I know my PR team said that I'm not allowed to speak about everything that's going on. But they never said I couldn't produce a full feature length album about it. So I'd like to take this moment to sing the truth to you guys. Hit it. What can I say except my bad? I really didn't mean to make you mad. So what can I say except my bad? I really wish that there was more that I could add. You know, these past 34 minutes and 12 seconds since it got revealed that I used to throw banana peels in the aisles of Target and wait for elderly people to come and fall over them has been really hard for me. But just like those bananas, I have had to peel back my true sense of identity. And just like those old fucks, my channel has fallen. 
The only difference is, it's not funny when it happens to me. So what can I say except my bad? I really didn't mean to make you sad. What can I say except my bad? I really didn't mean to hurt your papa Brad. And also Nathaniel Franklin, Daniel Sean, Christian, and it was Molly and Maplin, and then it was also Nathaniel. Really therapeutic. I mean, I know my PR team said that I couldn't speak about this, but if I can produce a full length album, the next best thing is to go on a full world tour! <laughs> this is my apology tour. So what can I say? 